Yeah, hi there again, Christina. This is Michael. So let's take a look at your email here. So you're building your English vocabulary by remembering 10 to 15 new words every day. So please provide your examples with them. Uh, I will submit my speaking assignments tomorrow after work. Sounds great. Okay, disdain. I might say I have uh, a lot of disdain toward my former employer who fired me for no reason. And that kind of means that I have a lot of hate toward that person. Allege. The police allege that the criminal robbed the bank at about 10 p.m. in the evening. Alleged, it's kind of like claim. Usually they use it in, this word's used when it's before you have a trial and someone has been accused of some crime and typically the reporters will report as this person is alleged to have robbed the bank, which means they haven't been tried yet in the court. So basically it's kind of like accused. Uh, pensive. I never use this word. Uh, pensive is to be in like deep thought or contemplation, so I might say I'm in a pensive mood right now, uh, getting ready to write my next book or something. Despise, well, like disdain, I despise my former boss for firing me without reason. So I'm using that as a verb. Uh, dissipate, uh, dissipates to like break apart and to lose its strength or its substance. I might say thunderstorm kind of moved into my city yesterday, but it quickly dissipated, which means it didn't really amount to much rain or much wind or anything. Uh, perseverance, I think you're spelling that incorrectly, but pers, uh, P E R S E V E R E N C E, perseverance is to have endurance, to not quit, to keep fighting. I might say she showed great perseverance in working uh, really, really hard to pass the TOEFL test. Uh, biased or unbiased, I might say I have a biased attitude toward uh, my former boss. Or I have an unbiased attitude toward my former boss. So biased means I have a prejudice. I either have some type of of influence for liking or, or disliking him. Uh, what would be a good example of a bias? Okay, let's say that you you have someone in the United States who is a Democrat, which is the opposite of Republican, and let's say they they have a company, a green company, which um, depends on global warming, which means if global warming is happening, then they can make more money in their business. So this person in Congress is pushing for legislation restricting businesses and things regarding global warming. Of course, this person has a bias, which means he has a tendency to believe this because it will also help him sell more things for his business if people believe in this idea. Unbiased would be neutral, objective, without being subjective. Uh, deterred. We use the word deterred, and there's a, I think a noun is determent. I might say the death penalty in the United States has deterred many potential criminals from committing murder. Because they know if they're going to commit murder, then they will be put to death. Now, of course, this is an argument, and not everybody's going to agree with what I just said, but deter it's kind of like to prevent or to keep somebody maybe from doing something. Deplore. you got a lot of words that mean hate on this list. Deplore. Going back to that boss again, I'd say I absolutely deplore my former boss who fired me without reason. So I'm using that again as a verb. Deceive is to mislead someone. I might say um, when the mother asked Johnny who took the cookies Johnny said I saw Mary running running out of the house in a hurry you know then the mother goes back to Johnny and say hey Johnny you lied to me you said that that Mary took the cookies he said no I didn't I said that she was running out of the house in a hurry in fact she was going to softball practice she was late 
Now, I could say that it looks like, at first glance, that maybe Johnny was deceiving his mother by implying Mary's taking the cookies when actually she didn't. Uh, Revere. Revere's to have great respect or reverence uh, toward something. I might say it's important to, to revere the American flag, which means to respect it. Or if we have great reverence toward the flag, we'll make sure it doesn't touch the ground, we'll fold it when we're done using it, and we'll basically maintain and take good care of it. Contrive, in, in many senses, it can mean like a fabricated explanation of something. I might say it was a contrived response uh, to the question, uh, do you think global warming is going to harm our planet? Contrived means a pretended or manufactured response, most likely uh, not true. That's probably how I would use that one. Uh, anyway, thank you for asking me the questions on those words. Again, it's not a bad idea to go to Google and, and type in the words so you can get more of a context of how they can be used in different situations. Remember that it's not uncommon for words in English to have multiple meanings or multiple uses, and I was just giving you examples of one or two uses for each of these words that you submitted to me. And keep up the good work in your TOEFL studies.